Gothenburg, 1995. The women's 400 meters hurdles. Before the race, no one was expecting anything earth shattering. How wrong could they have been? Two years ago, a new world record had been set at 52.74 seconds. Three to go over. Batten is strong. Buford still just in front of the inside of Batten. Hemmings behind them. A test of strength. Batten slightly over Buford at the last. Batten just in front. Buford coming back. Buford and Batten. was now obsolete. Batten winning gold, Buford silver. And I dare say that both of them have broken the previous world record that was set by Sally Gunnell. The world's great... Great surprise, that one, from Stuttgart in 19... Uh, from Gothenburg, I should say, in 1995. Thinking of Stuttgart, because Gunnell there and farmer Patrick also both broke the world record in the 400 hurdles. Well, Batten's still here, and so is Buford Bailey, and so is Hemmings, but they uh, have got some competition from a new group of 400-metre hurdlers. Let's go to the final. Bidouane of Morocco broke the African record in beating Hemmings on her way through to the final, down to 53.48. We're getting serious when we get down there. Here's Dion Hemmings, fastest time ever, 52.82 in the Olympic final last year, and the favourite going in, Olympic champion, runs the first half so hard, and I think still has a good chance of breaking the world record of 52.61, but she's got to win first because that favouritism was loosened up a bit after the semis. There are certain events in track and field where you can have a little bit of an off race and get away with it, but not in the 400 metre hurdles. So the Americans with Batten and Buford Bailey, the Jamaicans with Hemmings and Paris, and Morocco with Bidouane. Remember Morocco? And we were talking... Bill Milderwockel in uh, 1984 yes, in Los Angeles. Yes, won the Olympic gold medal. And we were talking earlier today about the retirement of Sally Gunnell, who has done everything there is possible to do in this event. She was a world champion with a, with a world record at that championship, an Olympic champion, a European champion and a Commonwealth champion. So she's been a remarkable athlete and paved the way in this event. In so many respects, she came from a hurdling background and was one of the first to do so. Yes, the 100 hurdles where she won the Commonwealth in 86, officially announcing her retirement today. Here's Batten, almost set for the 400 hurdles. Watch for Hemmings and Batten to establish themselves earlier. Maybe Bitter Wayne to come home with Buford Bailey. Away, and uh, Hemmings out fast. So did Batten. So important here that uh, they run the first half of the race hard. Terra Shook's gone out very hard, and Smith. There's Batten going into the next. And Hemmings is moving up on her in the back straight. This is where she set it up in the Olympic final. Terra Shook's gone out hard, and so have the outside runners, Paris and also Smith, as they come up to halfway. Well back at the moment is Buford Bailey. They're now at halfway, where both Batten and Hemmings are about to make their move on Terra Shook. Buford Bailey well back, bit away out of the picture, but she'll finish fast. Hemmings almost up to Batten. Three flights to get over. It's Batten and Hemmings. Hemmings has taken the lead. Bitterwain starting to come home very hard at the second last. Hemmings leads out from Bitterwain, Batten, and then Terra Shook at the last. Hemmings is tied. Bitterwain is flying home. Hemmings is in front. Bitterwain is going to her. Hemmings is holding on. No, Bitterwain's done it again. Beaten her in the last two metres as she did in the semi final and smashes the African record again. What a breakthrough. Have a look at her reaction compared to every, everyone else's down there puffing away, hands on their knees. Bidouane did this after her semi-final. She ran out, ran away without, without hardly puffing a breath. Came from a mile back as she did in the semi-final. It reminded me so much of uh, Debbie Flintoff King and her performance when she got up in 19... 88 at the Seoul Olympics, having done the same thing to the Russian in the semi-final, she did it again. 